you know in history when you when you see things like uh the a aztecs sacrificing people to the sun god that was in commemoration of nimrod or as he was known as in his incarnation as the god of death osiris uh, shiva saturn it's all talking about the same person i go over this over and over and over again who is unks crack pipe who is unks crack pipe who is unks crack pipe oh my gosh back at it again peace peace family this video right here is about christmas america's biggest satanic holiday now i know what a lot of y'all getting ready to do and say oh christmas is about jesus and holiday cheer and blah 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 no it's not and y'all know how i do and how i've been doing on this channel i've been coming with the facts so hold on to your reindeer. Don't fall out your sled, okay? Because we finna do the same thing and slide on Christmas, okay? Now Christmas has nothing to do with Jesus, okay? And December 25th is not only astrologically significant to the sun setting within the southern sky, specifically within a Crooks constellation for three days, via from uh, December 22nd to December 25th before it comes back into the Northern Hemisphere, hence the biblical, allegorical, astrological, metaphorical reference of the sun, a.k.a. Jesus, dying and rising again three days later. But December 25th is associated with a, a Greek, I mean, excuse me, with a European slash German folklore deity named Krampus, okay? Now, it's finna get crazy, okay? Krampus is known as the Christmas devil, okay? So, let, before we go, because Santa Claus is Satan, okay? And we're going to prove this. Now, Santa Claus, right, is Satan. If you take the N out of Santa Claus and put it on the back, it spells Satan. Christmas is not a holiday. Now, just getting back to some of the, um, the origins of so-called Christmas, December 25th was recognized as the birth of Osiris, a.k.a. Bacchus, uh, a.k.a. Tammuz. Why is that? Because the winter solstice represented the disappearance of the sun and the reappearance of the sun. The ancient cultures worshipped the sun. At summer solstice, the sun rises along the causeway in front of the Great Pyramid and moves across the sky, setting between the Second and the Great Pyramid. In the winter, the sun rises in line with the Grand Causeway by the Second Pyramid and sets between the Second and Third Pyramids, making a short trajectory. It appears that the causeways are deliberately pointing towards the rising sun on the summer and winter solstices. The ancient cultures practiced what was known as a stellar religion, S-T-E-L-L-A-R, meaning... Um, they utilized the star formations and many of the other celestial bodies as embodiments of the notable figures of antiquity, that being Cush, Nimrod, Semiramis, etc. Okay, so uh, the sun disappears on December 21st, what we call the winter solstice, which is the shortest day of the year, and then it starts to reappear on December 24th. People have to understand that Christmas is not just a holiday on the 25th. It starts on December 24th. And in the ancient time, that was known as Mother's Night. Right? That's why we call it Christmas Eve. Okay? So, uh, the celebration starts on December 24th and goes into December 25th, where it was known in ancient Rome as the Saturnalia, in which the practices were drunkenness and revelry. Um, wants and sex, the ex of course, the exchange of gifts. In ancient Rome, the slaves would trade places with the master for a day. Um, and and they would put on, if I remember correctly, I think it was a, a, a purple robe. You know, the color purple symbolizing rulership. Also, please remember that Nimrod, in his manifestation as Baal, or uh, Molech, or even Saturn, was the god of death. So... Oftentimes on December 25th, they would have numerous gladiatorial games where on, on those days they would be forced to fight to the death uh, as a sacrifice to Nimrod. You know, in history, when you when you see things like uh, the a Aztecs sacrificing people to the sun god, that was in commemoration of Nimrod. Or as he was known as in his incarnation as the god of death, Osiris, uh, Shiva. 
Saturn. It's all talking about the same person. I go over this over and over and over again. But that's what the Christmas festival is about. Like the 12 days of Christmas. Those were 12 days in ancient Kemet where they uh, venerated Osiris. So now they just transferred it over to the quote unquote 12 days of Christmas. Okay. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later.